I can pull a good coffee, don't get me wrong. Should we start at the beginning? Yeah. Yeah. It's always a good place to start. Oh, to. I'm trying to explain, but you seem to keep putting me off. I wanted to do a nice hour of stand up here, make everyone happy, make everyone laugh, but you just cut me down at every opportunity. Well, I, try, I tried before. Don't have your hat was off with the ladder over there. Nice as pint of all. Oh, I'm not pleased anyone, believe you me. Believe you me. I don't, I don't, get, I don't get on as well with don't anyone, do you? Safety, really. I mean, at the end of the day, it's not up to me, is it? Why not? I can't tell. I can't tell. It's not, it's not even the valley. 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 The I don't need a shredder, I need a very big shredder. You want to see the paperwork in Central Park? I mean, you're to be better invested elsewhere. He knows. He knows. Britain, 21st century. Welcome to the New World Order. We've become very loose assistants. We're here on the Connell Avenue, Moscow, Manchester. Terrible. Hope it happens to their kids. In All right, five years, you'll be working for G4S. See yeah. how much you're getting paid then. Yeah, there'll be no pension. Hey. Might happen to your kids as well, but right. when they're older. Selling, selling out, out, selling out your own people. Yeah, sure. Yeah, when your parents not around. Selling out your own people. Terrible. All this for one man in Manchester, look at the state of it, eh? Yeah. We wonder why people, people don't like police. It's alright, the time's coming. It'll be your turn one day, lads. Shame on you. Shame on you, Dan. They're making plans to get rid of you now with all the layoffs and the cuts exactly, and everything. Yeah. Give us a it doesn't please. matter though, we'll still come and support you regardless. We're not yet, and we're paying your wages. Selling your children down the river. Shame on you! 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 Facilitating the corporations once again. Bailiff's assistance you've become. Hey, to serve and protect. What happened to that? What happened to your own? Don't know. Working for bailiffs. What happened to your oath? You swore an oath. What are you doing? Told you. Fighting, fighting the people, protecting crime and corporations. Oh, yeah. 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 Protecting paedophiles, that's all you're doing. Yeah. What's the point we'll in working just, in, just this, uh, in this country if this has happened to you? Hey? We're we're just good to you know what I mean? You know, no. what, what, you know, what, what, what do people work for? You know? He hasn't got no, he hasn't got no parents, either, you know what I mean? You, you come and do all this to him? You might yeah, smile and all laugh at it, but at the end of the day, it might happen to your kids when you're, you know, when all you're using that. Right, when you're on half pay with no pension for G4S in five years' time, come, don't come running to us. Yeah. This when you've no pension, your kids have been sold down the river. You won't be there to help him, like he's no one there to help him up there. You want to be ashamed of yourselves. Hang your heads in shame. Your grandchildren will see this. Yeah, they will. Hey, and they'll curse you. That's what they'll do. Is that what my daddy done? Bloody hell, what? that's yeah. terrible, that. Look what my mum and my dad did. Bloody hell. Look what they facilitated. Exactly. 
Where's the person from the council? I'll come there, not here. The bent ones. Because hmm? they pay these guys to do it now, haven't you heard? Mm. <laughs> so I'm gonna, GMP. Shouldn't the bent person It's all about profit these days. Fake it's about banks, making the fake money. Courts, yeah. Fake money, fake yeah. police. Yeah. Yeah. Rubber stamping clowns sat in some courtroom somewhere. Bang, 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 with a little rubber stamp and everything. Yeah, let's go and have it, lads. Come on. <laughs> No one commenting on anything, no. no they can't comment because no. they know they're in the wrong. Yeah. No. We are the enemy. Take your, take your piece of silver now, tell you. Five years' time, half pay, no pension, working for G4S. Yeah. Working well, for Israel, that's all you Probably having reading meters if the truth's known. See, they smile, don't yeah. they? But, you know, think, oh, that'll happen yeah. to me, but it will do. Yeah. You always see people's day come, don't they? Don't they? Yeah. I was possession for a debt of £1,000. The warrant was granted this morning. So this is the first serving of the warrant. Forcing entry on the first serving is illegal. The police were informed before they attempted entry. Sold your children, this is servitude. Well done, chaps. Welcome to the New World Order. Remember what happened in Nuremberg, boys? We'll be reading gas meters soon anyway, won't we, when G4S takes their jobs. What goes around comes around. Happy with that, chaps, are we? Did you have the refresher bar? Fascist. Is Joseph Mengele your brother? Well, come a time, you know, chaps, when saying I was just doing my job won't wash. Didn't wash in Nuremberg, it won't wash in future. You've sold your children right down the river. Hope you're proud of yourselves. I like to think common purpose hasn't done its job totally, but you're starting to think. £6,500 late business rates, think it was. Job well done, chaps. Sold your children down the river. Job well done. Just what Italy needed. Yeah, fantastic. Keep up all in the legal side of things. Like outfits. Fight for your pension, chaps, because it won't last.
you break your oath, sir. Well, you obviously... Break, I, you're breaking your oath here I mean, by you assisting the bailiffs. You know, a private corporation, any, sir. Uh, that's not in your oath. Uh, I'm, I'm, yeah. just, I'm just making sure you've got uh, all your information for your reports. You're not interested, are you? We're just the enemy, aren't we? I'm simply making sure you've got your information for yeah, your report. You'll yeah, look yeah. on in this in five years, yeah, mate, and you'll hang your head in shame. Your children will have to see this eventually. <laughs> we're just the enemy, who are we? We're just, we're just good to pay their wages. Work, pay tax, you know, and then they, we're just here to assist the, the bailiffs. Um, yeah, they've, they've used the Insolvency Act to, to, you know, as, a, as a reason to, to break in. Um, um, obviously, it's, um, it's, it's the corporate police being used to uh, involve themselves in a civil matter. You know, this is a, you know uh, started off as a, a you know a business race dispute. It went into a bankruptcy. Now, for for what was a six grand dispute, like you know they're asking for seventy five grand. You know, for a person just to remain in their home. It's it's corruption. It's the banks have gone wild, right? They they they're claiming that you know they, this house is worth a hundred thousand pounds. Like you know they've well they've well overvalued it for the area and everything. It's just because they're greedy. They want to do a land grab and just sell that for profit. They don't care who they put out on the streets. But it's it's a shame. Uh, I've had some interesting conversations while I was filming over there with some of the officers concerned. You know, and they, they, they are people at the end of the day. They know something's wrong, but they they're given the instructions to tow the corporate line, go in there and just help help the banks and the profiteers and then kick people out of their homes. It's a travesty what's going on in this country today. There was no sense of shame from those that uh, the no. corporate thugs that just smashed the door in there, was there? There was no. They, they knew exactly what they were doing. They're just following orders, and you know that's. I'm sure that'll be the excuse they'll use in years to come when they are held to account. Wait, wait, wait. Made me almost. Wait, 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 can you can you for a trumped up debt of six thousand and eighty pound, they didn't owe, yeah. which is multiplied to seventy six thousand pound in a, an industry created for taking people's property off them for very small amounts of money setting every trap in the book, playing you out of your rights, um, being led astray by council officials to play you out, out of your rights, with liability orders that when you go to civil court, the civil, there's a catch-22 where the, the judge can't do anything made in the magistrate's, do anything about made, something made in the magistrate's court. It's a stitched up, every, every chance of getting justice in a civil court has been stitched up. Every little bolt hole Every little chance of justice has been preempted by another um, comparison case to block that, to block every chance of you, you overturning a debt. My only sin is I had an argument with the council. How dare I argue with the council? How dare you? This is a gun at your head. Hey, oh, don't come and argue, otherwise we'll take your house off you. End of story, really. And we've seen the court fascism in action today, haven't we? Corporations. Well, these people. I don't know. They, 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 they swear an oath under common law to protect the people. They're, they're protecting big organisations, they're protecting money, they're protecting corporations. But that isn't the job. They're supposed to be here to mediate. They've, interfered. They've actually broken the door down. The police are the, 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 the dro dro drones of the council. They're, they're, they're bully boys, just paid meat. There's no, there's no justice in it. It's not austerity, it's robbery. There they are. Homeless. I do. We won't end there, we'll fight on. We'll see where we can go with this.